Ryan from Aurora Middle School. Today I will be teaching you hands-on equations. Today we'll, we will be using red cubes for positive numbers and green cubes for the opposite of, of red cubes. And they are constants and together they make a pair of zero. And then these are x's. The blue x is just regular x and the white is the opposite of x and together they also make a pair of zero. My first problem is 4x plus 3 equals 2x plus 7. So first, we're going to take away like things from each side with using our legal moves. So we're going to take away two blue pawns because they cancel each other out. And now we have to get rid of this 3 on the side so we have something to even out on the scale so, they can, so we can get our answer. So now we have to take away the 3 from the 7 by since they're on each side we can take away the three from the seven because we need to balance out our scale and then we can get our answer because if you don't have anything on this side and you have all everything on this side you can't get an answer and so now we have to divide each by two so now uh, we divide two x by two and you'd get x you divide four by two you'd get two so now, x equals 2. For my second problem, I have the opposite of 3x plus 2 equals negative 10 plus x. So first, we need to add things to each side so we can make a pair of 0 and get rid of the, op the opposite of 3x. But we have to do the same thing to each side to make it fair. And so now, this is a pair of 0, so we can take that away. And then now, to get rid of this negative 10, so we have something on this side, we can't get rid of the 2. We have to add positive 10, so we can get rid of that to each side. Now we can take this away, because it's a pair of 0. So now, 4x equals 12, so we have to divide each by 4. So x divided by 4 is 1x. And then... 10 divided by 4 is, or 12 divided by 4 is 3. So x equals 3. Alright, for my last problem, I have the opposite of 3x plus 5 plus x equals 2x plus the opposite of 3. So first, we're, we can take these away because they're a pair of 0 and they're on the same side, so it's a legal move. And then now, to get rid of the opposite of 2x, we can add 2x to, positive 2x to each side. So now this would be a pair of 0, so we can take that away. And then now, um, we have to get rid of the negative 3 by adding positive 3 to each side. So we can get a pair of 0, so each side can be even. So now that's a pair of 0, and we can take that away. So now we have, and this would be 8, so 8 equals 4x, so now oh, we have to divide each by 4, so this would be, uh, 4x divided by 4 would be 1x or just x, and then uh, this divided, 8 divided by 4 would be 2. And then now x equals 2, and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching my hands-on equations video. I hope you liked it.